Sorry, can I just ask you, are you freezing your bread? Huh? Are you freezing your bread? Do you freeze your bread? Why are you talking such rubbish? This government takes the climate crisis seriously. We're committed to making Britain a beacon of a new green revolution. Should we really be putting ourselves in a position where we're putting the planet before profit? As long as we can agree on a very loose definition of committed. But I guess the question is how close to the targets do we really need to get to keep the public happy? And green revolution. What, so everyone makes targets and then no one does anything about it? Yeah, you know, exactly. And taking the climate crisis seriously. If we don't actually, you know, really utilise those fossil fuels, you know, then the dinosaurs died for nothing, didn't they? <laughs> All the sort of ecological disasters that are taking place, you know, isn't it just kind of toughening up the planet? I mean, it's not going to be saved by molly cuddling, is it? But I don't know if you know about COP26 that's taking place, the big climate change conference. Do you think there's a limit on, you know, the amount of money we should spend to, to save the planet? No. Is there a danger that we're going to act too early? You know, I don't know if you've ever turned up to a dinner party and you're the first one there, but awkward, you know, it's not so great. Do you really want to be the first one who's sitting at the table, you know, waiting for Russia and China to turn up? China isn't yeah. doing anything, is there? So really, why should we? Why should we? Listen, you've got to be realistic. We're committed to increasing renewable energy production while simultaneously not upsetting our fossil fuel donors. I think billionaires have to be involved. They have to have a seat at the table. It's their table, isn't it? The planet. You know, they've bought it. The real climate criminals are the ones who are not freezing their bread. Yeah, actually freezing the but bread. How? Why? Well, because that's going to really help solve climate change. I think the thing that we want to make sure we're doing is make sure that we do a, a little bit of oil exploration, you know, one for the road, you know, a couple of oil rigs aren't going to hurt anyone. <laughs> the UN has said that it's a, you know, it's a code red for humanity, but they haven't said what shade of red, you know, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it bold red or is it sort of a yellowy, sort of orangey red or green red, you know, sort of more like everything's fine, we should just carry on as normal. What's the yeah. rush? Why would you want to live in a post-apocalyptic wasteland? At what cost, though? Because obviously it's going to cost quite a lot of money. Well, wherever to... it takes. It's worth it, isn't it, to save the planet? Let's look at the whole situation, and then let's do nothing for the time being. Which I think is a really good outcome for planet Earth. No, you don't. That's not an opinion that anyone has.